Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. This is the 9 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. We're looking at the futures right now with the Dow up 108 at 38,578. Very nice session yesterday, but you need to see some follow through. And the, the level that really needs to be on a closing basis taken out is the high of yesterday in the futures of 38,682. The E-mini didn't have quite as good a chart pattern, but had a very good session yesterday and trying to follow through today up 17 at 5,065. It needs to get closer to the nine period moving average of 5,091 by Thursday to tell me that this has some legs to the upside because uh, this has been a quite, a, quite a pullback in the S&P. Uh, 5,076.75 was the high yesterday. It needs to go above that and close above that today. The NQ uh, had a um, last couple of days, couldn't take out the high of Friday and the low of Friday. So it's inside bars that we've got right now, up 72 at 17,422. I'm calling this a reflex action bounce. The weekly chart is really quite ugly. So if the, if the um, e mini NASDAQ futures are able to trade closer by Thursday to the high that was made on Friday of 17,553. That's going to be all of them have really important support from yesterday's low, obviously. RTY is the Russell 2000 uh, trading at 1978, right on the 200 period moving average, really kind of struggling. Look at gold. Gold is now down 22. It's actually a little bit off the lows, but at 23.23, um, the nine is still over the 14, so this, that's good. All the other technicals are quite poor. But in the meantime, I would say 2300 to 2290 is kind of the near term support that that should hold. And we're looking at I didn't do silver uh, just now. I did my show early today to be record. It's recorded and be replayed at 10. So the silver's down 20 cents at 2705. Hmm, that's quite ugly. It needs to hold 2690. Looking at um, I want to do bonds. I did bonds a little earlier. So bonds are down. 11.30 seconds, just not doing well at all. Bonds need to rally sharply so that yields can come down finally. They haven't done that. The dollar, oh, I didn't even look at the dollar. Dollar's holding okay. It's down 17 ticks, up at the 105.96 level. And crude oil uh, is pulling back down 78 cents at uh, 81.12. I believe Jacob is doing the sh show next. Uh, but have a great day. I'll be back with uh, Tom O'Brien later on today. And um, good luck. Have a great trading day. See you later.